Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Greg Michalowski from ForexLive.com. This is a Forex quick look. I'm going to take a look at the sterling yen. If you recall from a, a two or three or so weeks weeks ago, we were talking about the sterling yen moving to the upside. It was trending with the moving averages leading the way, uh, giving it a support on dips, and the, and the price ended up uh, surging all the way up to around the 208 level. Since then, we've seen a rotation to the downside. It all started, I think, when the CPI data came out of the U.S., and we've been trending down ever since. Uh, and uh, along the way, we've got, kind of followed along the same path that we did on the way to the upside. I'll tell you what I mean and show you what I mean in this video. So let's get started. I don't know if you remember this, but uh, you know, I was uh, when we were watching the price move to the upside right here, uh, we were following along uh, at different uh, different things. First, the price moved above the 200 bar, 200 and 100 bar move, our hour moving averages right through here. Then we started to use the 200 hour moving average as support here and here and then the 100 hour moving average here and suddenly the 100 hour moving average became came the level of support that the price would come down to and find support buyers or uh, in this case we moved briefly below that level and then quickly rotated back to the upside restarting the trend move to the upside you can see how this trend is fast directional tends to go further than what traders think but along the way we found these opportunities to buy dips against the 100 hour moving average whatnot you know a number of different times along the way so that is that is the classic trend type move and then we, we reach this high up here around the 208 105 by the way this came up from around uh, look 197 ish type area so that's a huge uh, you know nine nine a hundred big big figures to the upside and what do we do i think uh, this is the uh, u.s employment day uh, the price uh, rotates back to the downside we find support near the 38.2 percent retracement of this whole move to the upside right here so that's a nice hold and then we do it again here and then we find earlier buyers against it here here so the buyers are trying to take control but what's happening on the top side well we fell below the moving averages and, and suddenly the 100 hour moving average instead of becoming support like it did through here becomes resistance here so that's telling us that the sellers are now trying to take more control and lo and behold we break below the uh, 38.2 we break below the uh, upward sloping trend line we move down and we actually fall below the 50 percent retracement here on a fast type of move and then re-establish support at the 50 and now we're battling between the 50 percent and the 100 uh, uh, hour moving average up here maybe the underside of the broken trend line here rotate to the downside get a little sloppy through here around the 50 percent retracement but still stay below the 100 hour moving average in trading here today and the market rotates to the downside breaking below the 61.8 percent retracement today and coming down to this swing area through here now what well we've come a long way baby but uh as you can uh, see going back in time this swing area right here is a is a level that i would i would uh, expect the market to pay attention to to lean against to take some profits and perhaps perhaps uh, bounce to the upside so i wouldn't be surprised if we see something something like this uh, uh uh going forward with a rotation back to the upside and maybe even a rotation uh further to the upside allowing the 100 bar moving average to catch up with the price and then we'll make up our mind what we want to do here against the falling 100 hour moving average so that's the perfect technical uh view that i would see happen but uh, overall, I would expect that this area gives gives traders a cause for pause, a, 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 a reason to stall the price. And the question is how far we go go from there, whether we can take get above the 61.8% retracement, whether we can get back above the 100-hour moving average. That's going to be the key. So that's how technicals work. And that's this is a perfect example of a trending market and utilizing your technical tools to help you follow those trends. My name is Greg Michalowski. Good fortune with your trading. Bye-bye now.